It's become very obvious that fall is pretty much here. The weather has started getting so much colder and it's been pretty cold the last couple of days, so much so that we did have to start turning on our heat yesterday. The inside of the house has been getting pretty cold. And today I am headed to my Nan's for a much needed visit. And I think I'm gonna bring the fall decorations from my parents' house so I can start decorating our house for fall. If I can't keep summer, I may as well just embrace fall. Connected she was to the, to the Canadian people. Well, she did visit here 22 times. <laughs> so we're supposed to get this like crazy storm in the next couple of days so we do have a lot of like storm preparation to do but i've just been trying to clean up the house today because ever since last week last week i completely disregarded absolutely everything else besides getting ready for the bachelorette party because i was just literally sewing non-stop all day every day last week and i didn't have time to do the laundry do the dishes like clean the house clean the guinea pigs like it got so bad. I did clean up the guinea pigs yesterday, but I've been putting around this morning trying to clean up the living room because I really want to decorate it for fall because I did pick up my fall decor from my parents yesterday. I mean, I don't have very many things. I only have a couple of small little things, but I want to put them out, but I didn't want to put them out if the room was like too messy. I think I'm going to try and hang up that VW picture that Tyler gave me for my birthday. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is our washer. Um, Yeah, that VW picture that Tyler got me for my birthday is still sitting there. I thought he was gonna like put it up for me, but um, I think I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna have to do it myself. So I'm hoping I don't wreck our wall. Centered, but is it too high? Is it too crooked? Is the wall crooked? Mm. Yeah, I think that looks better. Now there's an extra hole in the wall, but oh well. Tonight. I don't know how bad we're gonna get hit with it like here at our house versus how badly Where my grandparents cottage is that we usually go in the summer. I think they're gonna hit like that area is gonna get hit really really bad but um, We are still gonna get a lot of wind and a lot of rain and everyone's kind of freaking out because it was supposed to be a really bad storm and um, So I've just I've had a shower basically we're preparing to have the power go out because Judging by how fast the winds are going to be happening, um, the power is probably going to go out. So, had a shower. I'm trying to wash everything, get the dishes all done up. 
Um, we've pretty much made sure everything outside is taken care of. However, I do need to take down the gazebo, but I'm so short, it's really hard for me to take down alone. But I might have to just go out and try because it's already raining and I don't want it to get too windy. Like, I don't know what, I don't think it's really supposed to start until like tonight, but I don't know. I don't really want to wait until Tyler gets home because I don't know. I just feel like I should just get it done if I can. Bye bye birdhouse. Oh, it ripped the chunk of the tree right off. Is the tarp full of water? So the power went out last night at like 11. It's still out. Um, so Tyler's downstairs trying to cook eggs on the fire. So let, we'll see how that goes. We just went outside to kind of like assess and see what's going on outside. And honestly, everything looks all right. Like no trees fell down really, just like our little birdhouse thing fell down. And there are some branches off trees and there's definitely some shingles down from the roof. But um, other than that, I think we're pretty much okay. Just gotta wait for the power to come back on. Mm -hmm. wow. Good lens. That's crazy. That's so funny. Whatever works, dear. So since Tyler is cooking eggs on the fire for his breakfast, I'm gonna cook some hot dogs on the fire for my lunch because I had cereal this morning. Um yeah. Oh no! What happened? What happened? It works, but they are definitely a little burnt. That's okay though. It's all right. Better than frozen. serious job today which is hemming my bridesmaids dress which um the wedding is a week from tomorrow by the time the world sees this it will have already passed so it's okay to film um so obviously it is like so long i don't think you can see from where i'm standing can you see it from here i don't know it like pools on the ground it's extremely long and i'm extremely short so i gotta do that but also um there's this like lump in the back here which obviously does not look right. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is, and it kind of is like a little bit saggy here. So I think what I have to do is just tighten up this part a little bit. So I'm gonna tighten it so that it stretches the zipper up higher and then it sits flat. And then we should be good. I'm not gonna lie to you and say that I've done this before because I've never touched a bridesmaid's dress before in this way, but I'm pretty confident that this, these are minor things, it should be okay, and it's far too late to get someone else to do it anyway. So, I think I'm gonna hand sew this part. I'm gonna just basically take these and fold them under this part and just sew them there so that it pulls the front up, pulls the back up a bit higher, and um, I'm just gonna hand sew it so that it doesn't look messy and it's like kind of like hidden, you know, it's so much you can't really do a hidden scene with a sewing machine. So here we go. Okay, so I finished doing the neckline and I definitely think it fits a little bit better. Um, however, 
That weird lump. Well, actually, it's not too bad. It's better, I think. I don't know if you can tell. I feel like it's one like, like a slouch. Wait, can you even see it? It's gonna not be in focus, but... No, it's definitely better than it was. It's still there a little bit. But... Maybe I'll just tape it to the back of my neck or something. But uh, yeah, I think it... I think tightening this was definitely the move. And now it comes time to hem the bottom because even with the shoes on, it's still quite long. I have the shoes on right now. I can't step backwards because Tyler doesn't want to be on the camera. He's on the okay, couch right I'm now. Back here. So, um, yeah. I feel like the hardest part about doing this is the fact that in order to get the right, in order to put the pins in where I need them to go, I want to need to bend down. But then when I bend down, the material is going to go lower. So I feel like I'm going to have to pin it, eyeball it, and stand back up and see. Mm -hmm.